Hi everybody, Spike from Wavescape.coza here with your surf report for the Western Cape for the weekend 29th of August. As we enter into September with the spring solstice coming up, we've got icy conditions ahead after two days of stormy weather. Basically this screenshot is Sunday at 6am and that is the area of freezing weather. Zero degrees or under and it takes up a large proportion of the country and the Western Cape. So winter hasn't quite relinquished her icy grip just yet. So if we basically look at the zoomed out snapshot of the weather on Friday today, the 28th at 8 a.m., we are bookended by two big high pressure systems to the west and to the east, and then an area of volatile cold frontish weather in between with a wadge of wind approaching us. Currently Friday, not much swell around, very weak nine second wind swell, but there you see the swell arriving from that storm. But that is only going to be overnight, 15 foot at 11 seconds. However, with a lot of bad weather. Saturday, two o'clock in the morning, that's the outlook. Strong northwesterly winds across the region. But let's uh, rewind back to the beginning and let's have a look at what's going on today. So we have a fresh northwesterly and light to moderate northwesterlies in the rest of the Western Cape. We've got no swell. We've got an approaching cold front. We've got plenty of rain. It rains all day today. In fact, let's just have a look at Saturday. Rains into Saturday. Nice strong falls in the catchment, snow falls across a wide area inland, so I reckon the dams will be topping 90% easily by Monday. That rain starts to fade away on Saturday afternoon, by Sunday it's slowly dissipating and we get a nice clear day and much lighter winds. But the most important thing I want to show you about the weekend is basically this little low pressure system that's bringing the weather. It moves past Gullis and then look at this area of southerly wind. So this is a very common event between the seasons when the highs and the lows are getting mixed up together, each vying for their own place in the ocean as the seasons shift and the warm weather starts to arrive. Basically, that's when you get those big southerly swells. It's interesting that the normal GFS, the Wave Watch 3, just shows it as a southwesterly swell at 11 seconds as that storm goes past. However, another handy little trick is to look at other swell trains or other swell components that are in the ocean at the time. So we look at the swell number two here. Indicates that on Sunday, waves are going to be getting into False Bay and the swell direction all along the coast here is going to be a lot more southerly and there's going to be lots of waves. Anyway, just to cut a long story short. Friday, building swell, wind swell on the west coast with fresh westerlies, then big swell arriving Saturday, but strong southerlies, and it's those southerlies that are bringing all this cold air in, and then Sunday is the day to surf. Dropping six to eight foot swell in light easterlies up the west coast. For Cape Town, you've got a solid six to eight foot swell plus in beautiful calm light southeast to light variable southwesterlies into the afternoon, and plenty of swell after getting absolutely caned by strong westerlies, and then here's that southerly again, as the high pressure system ridges in behind that receding low and all that cold polar air gets sucked over us for those icy temperatures on Sunday morning. And in the Southern Cape, again, you see big busters, basically a double buster, if you can call it that, a double barreled buster blows across the Southern Cape, which obviously includes the Western Cape coast. And then on Sunday, that's the day to surf. Much lighter westerly winds um, to the east of Agalis and a solid thumping six to eight foot swell, maybe, maybe even bigger. So the quick shot would be, here comes the wadge of wind, Friday night, Saturday, there comes the storm becoming a southerly, but it's very short and quick, passes the window very rapidly and then moves off. And then on Sunday, if we look at conditions around the coast, beautiful. Light southeast up the west coast, residual leftover westerlies up the east coast. Calm inland. Snow on the mountains, freezing conditions, warming up gradually to a nice warm 7 degrees inland and 10, 12 on the coast. And remember that we're two days after the neap tide, heading slowly towards a full moon spring tide and the low tides this weekend are going to be between 6 and 8 o'clock in the morning, 7-ish on Saturday and 8-ish on Sunday. And that's about it from me, so yeah, have a cool weekend, enjoy yourselves and be safe out there, hope you get some waves. See you in the water. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.